This is going to be a fun video. I've been wanting to do this for a while because I'm going back to the office to work a couple days a month and I've been thinking about wearing makeup again. I don't typically wear makeup in the last four years since the pandemic and I've been working from home. But now I want to go and wear some makeup again, but I'm also very, very lazy. So this is going to be lazy girl makeup. Typically, I don't like to spend more than five minutes on makeup. I don't do foundation. I usually just try to do eyeshadow and mascara and maybe some kind of colored lip balm. I got a few products here that I'm going to show in this video. I'm going to have to do this over a couple of days because once I put it on, I don't want to take it off and put on another color but i wanted to show all of the products i got i got like multiples of things right so i got this one from sai i think it's called it's i wish they would make these for older people because we can't see this um this one's gonna be called i want to say it's sunbeam or something like that i can't see it anymore anyways um i also got a bb bb cream so this is from maybelline and then i also got an elf woe glow and this is in, what color is this? Sunbeam, sunbeam. So these three things will be for the face. Like I said, I don't really like to do foundation. So I want something light. And I like that these two come with SPF. So these are the, gonna be the daytime ones. And this one's probably gonna be like a nighttime thing. So that's that. And then I got the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi-Stick in dazzling peony so this is the only thing that i got for my cheeks i don't typically put on any kind of blush we will see how that goes and then i've got a couple of no i got three eyeshadows i got this one from julep beauty and it's called orchid shimmer and it's one of those stick ones so we're gonna try that and i got this one from dnm beauty it's an eyeshadow that is dual and it has this little brush that you just sweep it on can't wait to try that one and then i've got all of these which are kind of similar to the one i just showed but they're all in different kind of colors i haven't even opened these ones yet but they're like a dual colored one that you can hopefully just sweep on it did come with a brush i don't really want to brush it on i just literally want to go like that so that's what this video is going to contain different kind of days and applications of these products. And um, let's get started. Hi, I'm Jamie, and thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will be happy to give answers to those. Precursor to this, my face is freshly washed, and I've done my skincare routine. So you can see it's a little bit, you know, kind of dewy and soft already. But today I want to go with the Psy, I think it's called Psy, the Psy, um, stuff and and i don't know if this is just supposed to be put on I, I literally am not a makeup person at all but we're gonna just try it together i'm gonna put it on i don't know if you're supposed to use a brush to put it on so forgive me but whatever i see people doing this kind of stuff i'm just gonna put it on my clean hands and see how it goes i'm just gonna use that much Woo! <laughs> that feels really nice on it's like a velvety kind of feel and let's try the e.l.f. multi-stick. Let's just do a little swipe and then we're going to just blend it in. The next thing I want to try is this eyeshadow from DNM and I just want to basically go back and forth a few times I guess and then oh I forgot to put on the primer. Usually I put on the e.l.f. primer underneath I'm going to use the e.l.f. Lash Extender Mascara. You know, it's it's minimalist, and that's what I'm going for. I I kind of like it. What do you think? Let's go on to the next one. And we are ready to apply. Today, I thought I would try out the ultra bb cream now this is in i can't remember what color it is and now of course i can't see the color whatever we're gonna do this i am going to try the julep um, eyeshadow underneath it i'm gonna put the elf shadow primer 
I'm going to use the same lash extender that I used yesterday. And then I didn't include this one, but I'm going to use the Lip Reviver Oil in, I think it's Rose Envy or something like that. I'm just going to put a little bit on. I don't know that I really see a difference with this. It's got SPF in it. Skin Hydrating Beauty Balm 8-in-1 Skin Perfector Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen. Oh, it's Medium Sheer Tint. That's what the, the tint is. So, mm, the eyeshadow primer. Putting that all over the place. Fill it in with this pencil. So here's the color. They, people always do this. Look at the color. Uh, so I'm just going to put it kind of on the lid, bottom part. And then we're going to see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm definitely not going out like this. But that looks bad. So let me um, kind of smudge it around. It's so hard to do the makeup in the camera and in the mirror. Because I feel like it looks bad better in the mirror than it does on the camera that could just be me but same as yesterday I'm kind of missing the bottom part here which I need to kind of get closer you know maybe I need to go higher do you think I need to go higher because I feel like I kind of look like a clown or maybe I need to put another color up here I'm afraid to go higher with the same color because it's so dark and I don't think it's even. I think I'm missing some right here. Let's just continue and see what it looks like at the end. Maybe the mascara will put it all together. Let's put the mascara on. So I'll remind you, this is the e.l.f. Lash Extender. And then the final touch for today, I'm going to do the lip oil. I said I wasn't going to do anything else, but I lied. Forgive me. So maybe a little bit of blush. <laughs> you have to kind of smile when you put blush on, right? And then, and then we're gonna This is day two and keep watching for day three. All right, let's give it a shot. And there is the color. So to remind you this has a glow and SPF 30. It does have a nice glow. I kind of like that. Okay. Whoa glow. Filming this on my laptop, which I really shouldn't do. I should be filming it either on my iPhone or I got a new 4K camera that I need to test out. But I wanted to just finish this series how I started the series. So there went the eyeshadow primer. So here is how it looks. Oh, and it's just kind of like a lipstick too, by the ass. So you kind of trill it so that's the color when I got this it included a little brush so I don't know if you're supposed to use the brush to put it on my idea as a lazy girl was just to swipe it on so wish me luck I'm just I'm gonna try it and it might look horrible so I just I don't have enough light in here I think that's my problem when I'm doing these things I'm getting enough light from the adjustment that the MacBook's making but there's just not enough light on my face for when I'm doing this. Maybe if I kind of face the light over here. That's a little bit better. I'll be right back, hold on. I don't know that I see both colors because I feel like they're kind of getting smudged just the way that this is. I don't know, I don't know if I like it. Let me do the other eye and then we'll assess. I'm gonna smudge it a little bit, I think, with my fingers and kind of just, what I really should be doing is having a mirror here and doing it with my I have a ring light I have like an 18 inch ring light you know I'm, I'm not a beauty influencer I'm not trying to be an influencer in that way my thing is more uh electronics I've been looking at some smart watches I just my background's in IT so electronics has always been my thing unless I just love electronics and then I'll put on the lip same lip as yesterday let's see how this looks and it was funny as my husband came home from work yesterday 
yesterday was day two, right? And I think he might have not noticed on day one, but he noticed on day two about the makeup. I'm going to apply a little bit of this stuff, too. He was like, who is he? What is his name? <laughs> I'm like, this is nothing about another dude. This is about me going back to work in an office where I used to wear makeup every day, you know, and, and, and working from home, I haven't worn makeup every day. So I'm trying to refigure out what looks good on me. I've, I've aged, I've aged four years. So, you know, they tell, tell you not to wear like shimmery or metallics or whatever, when you're above a certain age. And, you know, I'm starting to wonder, like, should I just be wearing matte matte eyeshadows I don't know I don't like my matte eyeshadows I like the shimmery stuff so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna appreciate the look what do we think about today's look with the products that I applied I, I think I am liking the woe glow I think out of the three products that I applied that was like um, supposed to be some kind of shimmery thing um, the say was good the BB cream, it was okay. It was kind of more subtle. And then the this the one for today is, is nice. So, you know, I think I like these two more than I liked this one. I think I might use some kind of combination of everything that I bought. You know, I do love the idea. Oh, it's a smudger. Look at that. Remember yesterday I put on this and then I smudged it with my fingers. I had no idea that there was a smudger on the other end so that might have helped you know because your fingers are kind of not the best thing to be smudging I like that that's that's really cool maybe I will get one more of these in a lighter color I'll use this one near the bottom and then smudge them both together maybe something like that I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you subscribe to my channel for other videos like this. Like I said, beauty isn't really my thing. I, I, I am doing it some of the time, but mostly my the things that I review on my channel are home products, like kitchen products, like air fryers and electronics, um, like, the, you know, like the smart watches and, and cameras and all of that stuff. So if you're interested, click the subscribe button. And also, if you're interested in learning more about any of these products, I'm going to put the links to the products below. Just heads up their affiliate links. Uh, no extra cost to you. It just means that if you click on my links and choose to buy the products, then I would get a commission. And I greatly thank you if you do that. So thank you very much. And again, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. All right. Bye.